Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Carbston Farm with me Siwadi on what is a rainy start to September. So, we're harvesting sugar beets ladies and gents because uh, I'm not allowed to harvest anything else in the rain. So, made an early start to the day. Started going around the field, getting the sugar beets harvested. Obviously producing cut sugar beets in our lovely little machine over yonder and um, yeah apart from that everything's running normally uh, sold a bunch of crop off of camera had a tractor and trailer running around doing that for me um, so I've sold a lot of my wheat a lot of my barley um, quite a bit of my oat I think now, I need, now I'm doubting myself. Did I sell oat? Yeah, I sold oat, sold sorghum. I'm currently transporting grass up to the silage fermenter from the um, bale shed. Um, bale storage. Uh, animal wise, how are the animals looking? Chickens are okay. Sheep are okay. Uh, cows are going to need some food soon. They're also fairly full of slurry, so we might have to uh, go and do some shifting of that stuff. But yeah, we're slowly getting, as I say, getting the sugar beets in. Which is pretty cool. My sugar beet harvester also manages to hold as much as my, well, as much as my trailer. But the grapes are ready to harvest, ladies and gents. We we do have the grapes ready to harvest. However, the uh, the weather is making it impossible for me to go and do that currently. for the sugar beet. Big sugar beet harvester. <laughs> Definitely makes sugar beets a lot easier to do when you've got a header like this on the front. Hopefully won't take us too long. We've got a lot of sugar beets. A lot of sugar beets. Mm. Put my lights on. It's fairly dark at the minute on the map.
But yeah, this is like the, um, I think this will be like the sixth video of Calms that I've recorded this week. It's taken me all week to record them. Normally I would have recorded three episodes Monday, three episodes Tuesday, job done. But I've had a lot going on this week, so unfortunately I've been like recording one video a day. So as yet, I haven't actually uploaded any Carl's videos this week because I'm still waiting to render them all until I've got all six videos. I haven't done any rendering yet. I haven't made any thumbnails for the videos. So I'll probably be doing that this weekend. There ain't no Formula One now for a month, so I'm going to have a lot of time at, on Saturdays and Sundays to do um, do some admin work. good news is for those of you that watched a couple of episodes ago where I was a little bit worried because I had an appointment yesterday um, the good news is nothing to worry about it wasn't the appointment I had yesterday wasn't anything at all to do with what I was worried it was going to be about um, in actual fact it could be quite good for me if everything goes right and everything works out correctly I could end up in a position I could end up in a position where I'm actually better off <laughs> following yesterday's appointment but yeah nothing to worry about I was a bit concerned when I got the letter saying that someone from the DWP was coming to see me at home I was a little bit worried what that would involve and entail but wasn't what I feared it was going to be so yeah normal service has resumed normal service continues nothing changes I still get to be a full time content creator <laughs> which is nice still get to be at home all the time which is even better And weirdly, I've not heard back yet from the um, the other the medical insurance company yet. After they emailed me the other day wanting an update on my situation, and I had to go and fill out a massive fucking form thing online. And one of their questions was, "When do you when when do you when do you expect to return to work? <laughs> Normal work." Um, the box would not allow me to enter anything but an actual date. So I couldn't write, I will never be able to, or whatever. So I basically had to pick, I was actually being forced to pick a date, which I didn't like. So I basically picked the, the, the date that was the furthest out that the um, form would allow. So I picked January the 1st. 2100 as the date that I expect <laughs> to return to normal work I'm sure they'll have something to say about that eventually but like I say I've not had any calls from them they sent in their email they said oh we've been trying to call you for several weeks and I'm like well my phone's not rung I've not been left any voicemail messages. And they were like, oh, every time we've rung you, it's gone straight to voicemail. I'm like, well, if you're if you're going straight to voicemail when you ring me, that's because you're ringing me from a private or a withheld number. And in that case, yeah, that's what happens. If you ring me from an unknown number, it goes straight through to voicemail. It doesn't ring because my service provider has my phone set up so that company cold callers, sales callers, things like that, scam scam companies, things like that, that tend to block their number, hide their number, can't hassle me, can't bother me. Only legitimate people, legitimate companies that actually, you know, provide their phone numbers to people. Um, get, um, get to come through to me. But I said when I replied, when I replied to the email I got the other day, I was like, 
if you are going to call me and want to phone me, please let me know what number you are calling me from so I can add it as a entry in my contacts so that when you phone me, it actually displays that it's you ringing me and I know and I can answer it and it's safe to answer the, the call. And we're full again. And I'm full again here. <laughs> Don't get very far with a sugar beet harvester, do you? How long is the rain going to last for, ladies and gents? What is the projected forecast for rain? It should clear up by about 9 a.m. Hmm. I don't know if that means I'm actually going to get to do any uh, um, grape harvesting. What I can do is I can accelerate the time a little bit. Rather than playing at three times speed, I will increase the time scale a little bit. So hopefully we can get to nice dry weather. So how's my production doing then? Because this is cooked sugar beet. Right, sugar beet water, there it is. Filling up nicely. All cut sugar beet. Some of that should be going to the um BGA on the four. Unless it's all going to the... Might all be going to the sugar mill first. That's the worrying part on that. Might all be going to sugar. turn off cut sugar beet production will it stop filling up with cut sugar beets and will it instead send it to the BGA Yes, it's now in the BG, BGA law. Excellent, that's what I wanted it to do. I want it to go there before anywhere else. Because the BGA is my money maker. Right, I'm going to try and put a straight line on this field. Straight as I can, anyway. Because then I might let the, uh, I might let the AI loose.
And the AI will definitely prefer to work in straight lines. So we are at 90% full. Going to be 100% very quickly. All the sugar beets. Okay, that's empty. <laughs> Jump the gun a bit there. Okay, we'll let the guy uh, we'll let the guy do the harvesting uh, as I say we will hopefully today at some point we're taking our lovely brake machine out for its first Harvesting. Oh. 
Oh, hang on a minute. I'm allowed to harvest grapes in the rain. Oh, I say, ladies and gents, that's game changer. I didn't think it was possible. Stuck on every single uh, bit of wood. No, it's not. No, it's not. Not, 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 not. I was right the first time. We have got grape harvesting. I suppose my grape harvester gets very full. This is where we work out whether I've actually made the vines far too long and I can't actually harvest the vine in one go because we get too full. And it's going to make it very awkward for harvesting. Yeah. That is the case. tractor is. Out of curiosity. The one that's supposed to be delivering the grass because I haven't actually seen him all that much. I haven't run into him at any point. I wonder where he is. Increase the time scale a little bit now because uh, it stopped raining. Ah, oh, he's there. He is tipping. Okay. He's on the tip.
Now, I did actually make these a little bit too long, these grapevines, but you can never quite, you can, there's no way to know. Is there? There's no way to know um, how long you're supposed to make them to get a, you know, full. I mean, grapes are not accepted here. be right you know Oh well, we're going to have to buy another trailer then. That sucks. I can't actually use that half pipe then. Oh dear. In that case then, we shall send you... go to shop store we'll grab this guy because he's going to have to go get that big tanker from up near the BGA so In, we have got a harvester to empty. Sugar beets continues. That's weird, that, because I'm pretty sure I've used that half pipe trailer before. I could have sworn I've used that in the past to unload grapes. convinced of it. Maybe I'm thinking of a different mod. Who knows? I could have, I could have sworn we did used it on Elm Creek on the multiplayer server because we never had specific great trailers. Definitely not. I'm still filling that up. We cook sugar beets. It's um, dividing it. That's not great. Uh, yeah, you can you're gonna have to move a little bit. He's getting full. This guy hasn't moved. 
annoyingly. He doesn't know his way. Playing the interceptor game. go get the slurry from the cows because that's pretty f maxed out at this point. We're going to catch the fast track. Never sorted that bomb out, you know. A lovely harvested field, ladies and gents. Draining all the slurry. over a cow or several <laughs> how's the BGA doing for slurry actually doesn't have any so we might as well take this back then and let it go and handle the uh, the stuff. We need to go and empty Mr. Um, Sugar Beet Harvester again.
So yeah, grapes have gone off to a bit of an iffy start, I think. <laughs> I think the grape harvest has not gone well. We haven't got the right trailer. It's been raining. Um, there's a lot for us to still do. There's my grapes. And we'll crack on. I must admit, sugar beet beet guy is a little bit annoying. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying. He only holds so much. Oh, I'm gonna drive across the cloud field. I don't care. It's not I want one trailer of grapes before I end this episode. <laughs> I really do. I just want one trailer of grapes. Come on. We've got this. Now we've got the right trailer. We've got loads of products outside our dairy. That's fantastic. We've got 3,100. Then we do with bigger capacity on that, wouldn't we? Back him up. Because as you can see, we've got a lot of grapes to harvest. So at least with GPS, it makes it a little bit easier to do the um, harvesting.
one more run. Looks like I think we've got about 30 rows in total to do. Interesting, not quite as full this time. Not quite as full. Perfect. room for the trailer of course where is it uh you yeah you need to be unloading getting rid of all my slurridge this fella can come down take our next load of grapes There we go. Rumble, 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 rumble. So I wonder if the yield for the grapes is being affected slightly by the dodgy soil. Because uh, we're starting to get more black soil, the silty clay on the field, than the, the, the loamy stuff the loam stuff so yeah probably explains why i was able to finish that previous row without getting fully full and as every as we go across every row we are going to get less and less grapes harvested But if I can still get about 3,000 grapes per row, it's not going to be too bad, is it? So yeah, it's, it looks like it's just that first row that causes us the problem. that's working fine 
we're not getting close to full. Right then, ladies and gents, well, this video is going long, so I'm going to bring an end to this episode. When we come back for the next episode, we'll pick up with the Great Harvest in progress. And we'll get the uh, sugar beets finished off as well. And uh, we can then see what needs doing after that. So, ladies and gents, thank you for watching. I will see you all next time round. Cheerio for now, ladies and gents.